you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, we coolin' out, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, we coolin' out. What's up guys? We're back another week of cooling out. Kev. Ral. Um we try to normally start off with, you know, a little bit more energy, but given the nature of the circumstances of what um transpired, transpired on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday, it's kinda hard to um, you know, b- bring energy, especially for a topic that really doesn't even you know wouldn't be right to give like that some, energy. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not an energetic. It's not topic. that tone. Yeah, it's not um, that. Um. So for those of you who are unaware, uh, Nipsey Hussle, uh, who was a rapper, activist, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, all the above from Los Angeles, was uh, was murdered mm-hmm. on a Sunday outside of his clothing store, the Marathon Clothing Store, um, in Crenshaw. Is it in Crenshaw? I think Slauson. It's on Slauson Ave. Yeah, I know that. Maybe in Crenshaw. Um, but yeah. Yeah, in front of a plaza yeah. and much, in which he owned like the majority of he owned the, the property. Plaza. Enjoy plaza, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I guess we could just talk about, you know, our initial reactions and how we feel about it today. Mm-hmm. I think my uh, initial reaction was um, obviously of shock. Absolute shock. Um, Absolute shock. Yeah, because like my girlfriend, like show, she found it on a shade room, mm-hmm. and then she showed it to me, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Right? No, I heard it from you. Yeah, then I like immediately sent it to you, like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" And I was like, "What the fuck is this? What are you talking about?" Yeah, and I'm like, "All right, cool. He got, you know, not all right, cool, but like, you know, he got shot." Mm-hmm. Then, as minutes go along, more details start leaking out. He got shot six times. One time was in the head, and then I was already, you know. Not skeptical, but a little like scared or fearful is the correct word because um, other reports had leaked out that one of the because it, it was him and two other people that that and were that shot at, already and that one person one. had already had been pronounced dead, but they wouldn't release the name of the person that had been pronounced dead. So I was already fearful that it was him. Um, and then as more and more details just leaked out, and then you started seeing uh, videos. And I hate that I watched that that video on Twitter. There's one, yeah. You can't. He's his upper body's um, shielded off by a car, but you can see the paramedic. Yeah. And yeah, I wish I didn't. You that made me. That, that made me cry. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like it was very. That shit made me cry. Yeah, it was very, um, very disturbing and just sad. One is also disturbing that people are, are taking videos of shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's one. But then two is like, damn, I saw it. And that just like really like took me to a deep dark space, and I just felt like really really bad. Like that shit still don't sound right. It don't feel right. That shit right? don't sound right. It don't feel right. I keep googling him. Like I've googled him at least five times today just to you know to verify these things. Like to verify that he's actually gone because it doesn't feel right. No. Like it doesn't feel like real. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bless you. It was like just so so quick, out of nowhere. Like I'm just chilling on a Sunday, I'm watching a movie with my girl, and then like out of nowhere, Nipsey also has been shot. The next thing I know, it's like, Bruh. yeah. By the time he was pronounced dead, I checked back when you initially texted me. It all happened in less than an hour. hour. Yeah. At like Eastern Standard, it doesn't matter when, but it's like Sunday. You winding down, you're getting ready for the week, and yeah. then you like he gets shot. I'm like, what? And I don't know, I misread the article. It said he got shot. I saw it three times, so I was just like, fuck, somebody shot him. But I was like, hopefully he'll make it. But then I read it, it's six, and then his details come in. I didn't know that he got shot in his head. And yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And then more and more details. And we can talk about what we've learned like up until this point. But Yeah. So five to the torso, one to the head. Um Yeah, I mean like it. it Immediate, but not even it, it didn't even hit me immediately. I, I won't lie and say that no, that video made me because I was I wasn't I was less hopeful. I I didn't like what I saw. Yeah, and I kept refreshing like Twitter like to get updates because I didn't like what I like. It was just so unresponsive. I prayed like you know they could have yeah. gotten back in the hospital. But I don't know. Even to this point, every time I see it, I just shake my head. Yeah, 
like it shouldn't have been. It didn't have to be. And the more and more detail, it's just sad. And it's. Do you know why it happened? I mean, I know from, like both him and the guy were like former members of the Rolling Sixties Crips, whatever they had. I'm not sure of the actual altercation or whatever. I, I know that, you know, the guy came over, they had an altercation, like they argued. He left, came back with a gun mm. and then started shooting. But do you know the details as to why? This is from everything I've gathered and read. Um, Nipsey left his house that day because this is from TMZ portion. He has a friend that had just left prison that had been there for 20 years. Yeah. Okay. He wanted to lace him in some marathon gear so he could go home with like some fresh clothes. Mm -hmm. So his ex-con friend yeah. could be in his family. Mm -hmm. While he was there, the guy, Eric Holder, I believe they were part of the same gang, but apparently he's a known uh, police informant. So Nipsey was like, you can't be, you shouldn't, you can't be around here. And like, Apparently, yeah. Oh. From what I've been reading, yeah, he's a snitch. She's like, you can't be around here. And then from that, that's where it escalates. And then I'm reading, like, obviously what happened happened. That he shoots, walks away, comes back, shoots again, walks away, comes kicks back, shoots the again, then kicks it. <laughs> but yeah, like apparently he left without uh, his security guards knowing or anybody. Yeah, he just wanted to do a quick favor for his friend. But yeah, that's what I read. So all of that because he called you a snitch. Yeah. So yeah, it's just some form of jealousy and hate. Because if he's lying, then you know you, you let your anger that he call you that result in this. And if he's telling the truth, it's even crazier that you are what he says you are. Yeah, and you react in that. Yeah. Way. Either way, it doesn't. And that's what I've just been. It doesn't even. I saw his face like on the in and like. My friend was sending me stuff like other gangs are putting this stuff over on the internet before the police even called him. And it was just like, yeah, whatever happens to him, he gets killed in the street. He goes to jail. It's just nothing could, what, what you've changed. Yeah. It's just so, it was so bigger than you. It don't even matter what they do to you. Yeah. Like, I don't even care what happens to you. No one cares about Because you. it's like, like, there's no form of justice that could just change what you've, you've done. Because Nick, this is what a decades of worry, and he's just really getting started on all fronts. Just getting started. Connections being made even more. He's doing his community, you know, least of all, not important, but part of the equation musically. He's just like when I saw the outcry and the amount of people, and it's just like every day I'm seeing something new. It's like the initial, but you got all his peers, the top of the top, the Rihanna's, the Drakes, the Kendricks, the, yeah, the the athletes, the Bronze, the Stephs. Then as the day's going, I'm seeing game. He's driving down Sloss and fighting back tears because he can't believe what they did to his friend. Dave East uh, had a, a, a visual, a visual mm -hmm. for Nipsey. Um, I saw something. Russell yesterday goes out and have the 2020 20 mm -hmm. game. And it's just, it's just sad. Yeah, I, it's just sad. Like I didn't, I don't know. I don't. It's yeah. just pointless and. And as you said, like, there's, like, no matter what happens to this Eric Holder guy, like, you can't rewrite what Nipsey meant. Uh, we we you can have never, no like, idea you can never, what could have been. You can never replace that. You can. I saw an interview where it's, like, it must have been one of his first ones. He has, like, on a white tee. He looks young. He has a fro. Oh, yeah, with the, with the Seattle Mariners But already on. talking about, you know, car depreciation and you mm -hmm. got to own property. And then you flash forward a decade you know, a little over a decade where he is it. now. Imagine another. Mm -hmm. And he's doing all that stuff that he was preaching. That's the thing. It's and action. The, it's not just words. Is, so you know how like, you go on like the Explore page on Instagram, and mm -hmm. you click on one thing, and it just starts showing you everything that you like, you know that relates to it? So I guess I'm, obviously I'm clicking on Nipsey stuff, and I'm watching like all these young, these young artists who are like, you know, so far, you would think they'd be so far removed from Nipsey, like, you know, like a Rich the Kid mm -hmm. or a Lil Uzi. All of them said the same thing. Like, yo, he constantly was dropping knowledge on us, constantly telling us how to spend our money. Well, not how to spend your money, but like, you know, better investments to make with our money. We should own something. We should have our masters, things like that. Like, Nipsey is probably like, probably the most notable in this day and age of the artists who actually owned his own masters, mm -hmm. who like continuously was like, you know, 
beating into beating into people's heads like owning your masters, remaining independent, entrepreneurship. That um that strip mall where um the, his marathon store was. Yeah. They were so he bought that because there were some developers were coming in to buy it mm-hmm. to gentrify that portion of the of the neighborhood. So he bought it so that he can like give uh, ex cons and give his friends jobs no, there yeah. and people from the community jobs there so that jobs stayed within the community, not you know someone moving into a community outpricing everyone, making force people to move out of their, out of their neighborhood when that's all they know. Um, and he had plans to actually eventually because I don't think the marathon store was going to stay there. It was more like a pop up type thing. And then you know as time went on, he had plans to turn it into a hundred. Um, affordable housing units like the entire strip more knock it down and turn into 100 affordable housing units mm-hmm. um and even when he first put the marathon store there 20 i think 2017 is when he acquired that strip mall he went in and also like all the food around the neighborhood was all unhealthy food so he wanted to like bring in leases like of, of restaurants to the strip mall that were all healthy options or healthier options for mm-hmm. people. Because you know in the hood, there's, there's like always like all these unhealthy ass options for you to eat. Chicken spot. Like Chicken spot, store, yeah. yeah. Fish spot. Mm-hmm. Everything's fried. Liquor store. You know, so he wanted to bring in some more healthier options. And that's what he was in the process of doing to that to that strip mall. And you just see... Added to before you, the, the, the STEM center. Oh, yeah, the STEM center uh, with the... Vector 90, which mm-hmm. is basically like this. Like yeah. A smaller scale we work which is a, to link entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is a, basically an open workspace mm-hmm. in the middle of... I don't know if it's on Slauson Avenue, but I know it's in the middle of his of his hood. Yeah, I think it's like 10 minutes away. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's near his hood, though, where he basically built... Uh, he was in the process of partnering to, to build a STEM center. Mm-hmm. Um, and essentially, it was going to be like an open workspace similar to a WeWork concept, mm-hmm. but where they also had free classes for people in the neighborhood to learn like tech and data and all these you know new booming industries so that they can you know get jobs and get out of the hood and make money and fend for themselves and not necessarily be... Um, Resorted to a life of violence and mm-hmm. crime and gang and gang life and all that stuff. So I mean, he um, was um, definitely on his way and just even outside of his entrepreneurship. Already doing it though. Oh, of course. It's only thirty three. Look at how much we just mentioned. I know. And look how much you respect. I didn't need to. I didn't want to to find out this way just how. But look, all the res- all the, the amount respect. of respect. I know. I know. That's the, that's like the one thing I took away from it. Also, was every like, day, every day, someone else is coming out, and it's not like people are just saying like you know, R.I.P. No. Damn, personal that's stuff. stories, like very very personal, like thoughtful stories, like where it's like, wow, like you really thought this about him, like wow, he really did, he really was this person, and it's like for someone like me to like, I'm not gonna lie, like I cried, like when when like not immediately when i found out i don't i like and i'm not trying to like sound like dramatic or anything like that i was in the kitchen i was washing dishes i had to put dishes down i had to go in the room close the door and just like let that shit out for like 15 minutes by myself because like you don't even like I, I we were talking about this through text and i was like yo i've never actually had that feeling where like a celebrity has died and i've been, and i agree with you and i've been like affected by it or or nor have I even understood why someone else would be affected by it. I agree with that too. Like when Michael like, Jackson sad died, is one thing. Yeah. my uncle cried, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Like, man up." Um, and, to- but it's also like I don't I don't think I even personally realized how important Nipsey was mm-hmm. to my life because it's like you know when it didn't really hit me because my, my girlfriend was like, "Wow, you know, like you know, you listen to his music every day." She's like, "I know you, li- I know you listen to his music every day." I'm like, wow, I do listen to his music every day. And then it's like, you know, just like thinking about that kind of stuff and the way his music makes me feel and how his music's like all about, entre- you know, like you, yeah. we, we have jokes where I'm like, yo, I'm listening to Nipsey today. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, we got to do this with the yeah. podcast. We got we to gotta step our shit up. We got to do this. Da, da, da. Like his his music and the way he carries himself, his persona, his demeanor is all about entrepreneurship, all about ownership, mm. own your stuff, <laughs> like all about owning your stuff. And I, I mean, like that's something you, I respect to the umpteenth power because most people who are out here, um, especially in, in that industry, you know, where all the flash and all the pizzazz and all that. Well, you don't really own anything. No, you know? record labels making the majority <laughs> exactly of the money off your music. Yeah, no, to your point, and like 
Yeah, I did too. And I'm, I'd say I'm an avid listener. I would not, I wouldn't say I'm a daily. Like I picked up on him from you and like Carl. Yeah. And it was really um, when he was doing press for Victory Lap, in which I really, prior to that, I had a couple songs from his. Yeah. But it's like I like to hear from artists and like what he was preaching. And I think it was a Breakfast Club interview and he was just talking about all the ownerships. I wasn't that well versed on him. I'm like, all right, wow, smart dude. Yeah. Actions, actions over words. Yep. I'm going to check the album out. And you know me, my attention span down to the <laughs> down to the bonus tracks. I'm like, and I even said, you know, Drake might be my favorite artist, but I thought it was the best rap album of the year. Yep, 2018. And that, if not already, it will gradually age as a classic. Mm-hmm. For, you know, least important. But know to your point, when it happened, it was just like, damn, just because of how much he was doing. Yep. And the video, and it was just... And it just didn't feel right. It just came out of nowhere. nowhere. It didn't feel right. He wasn't in. He not claiming I'm I'm in I'm on the corner doing this and nope. that or he in shoot like that wasn't his message. Nope. His only, his only, from my understanding, his only involvement in the hood now it's, was was him being there to be a presence so that he can you know help other people grow, yeah. help other people evolve, put money back into the hood, put mm-hmm. businesses out there. Um, it 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 just like it, it took like it caught me so off guard, and it's like yo, I've been listening to Nipsey since. Whew. Sheesh, <laughs> it's funny how how like how time flies. I think the first time I, I, I actually listened to like a full Nipsey album was Crenshaw, mm-hmm. which was 2013. That was my first year in law school. I never forget that. I was in North Carolina. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, let me get us a list. And he charged a hundred dollars for this. Like, you know, it was free, but you know, you could buy the physical for hundred. And I'm like, I don't know you like that. Like, I'm I was still for free. And I started actually listening to what he was talking about on that album. And I'm like, all right, bet, let me go backwards. So I started mm-hmm. listening to like the marathon continues. Then I went back to the marathon and things like that. And then ever since then I've been rocking with him. Like, yeah. cause what he's talking about is so real. It's almost like like, when I was in college, right, I was more, like, attracted to, like, a, a J. Cole because he was, like, more about, like, dreaming and, you know, these things can, you know, if you dream, you know, and work hard, eventually things will come to, you know, come to fruition. Whereas Nipsey, um, not to make a comparison, it's just more so, like, as I grew as I grew older, I more evolved into something that his message resonated with me. Mm-hmm. It was more so, like, no, you got to do something. Like, you, <laughs> you got to you gotta put action into play yeah. in order for things to happen for you. And... You know, just basically his whole message is about bossing up and entrepreneurship, ownership, giving back, um, giving, uh, putting money into black communities. Something that naturally when we're raised, we're taught to do the complete opposite. Yeah, We're taught as soon as we get up, like as soon as we get get enough money to move out the neighborhood, to get out. And I and like, I, I don't know if it's the wrong thing to say, but it's because of stuff like that. Yeah, it's because of like those kind of incidences where you, that one little interaction, you mm. know, where you where you call somebody stench or whatever whatever might have happened, could escalate to something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, like that kind of stuff is 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 what's scary to people. It's it's like why people like who are from the hood most of the time don't like going back to the hood. I mean, you see Meek, um, another one, you know. On the ver no, he said he drowned it in tears. I'm paraphrasing. I'm drowning in tears, but he's like, I know the hood'll kill me, but I'm still gonna go. And it's just like, <sighs> why? I- yeah, it only takes one. Look at it, just one. Yeah, but it's but I, I will say this: it's easier for us, us two, to say that because we, we were never really involved in like yeah. the street life. So when something like that is just like so far ingrained in you. Mm-hmm. It's hard to shake that. And even to a certain extent, I, I, I'm just assuming here, mm. you see something like that happen, you always still think... I mean, not, no, I'm not going to say you don't think it can't happen to me because you know it can happen to you, but it's more so like, I just got to move better and I just can't be the person that just completely gives up. Because realistically, right, if there wasn't a no, Nipsey... No, I'm not saying give up. No, but I'm saying if there wasn't a Nipsey, then the, the cycle just continues. Mm-hmm. And everyone in the hood just continues to struggle, continues to to not have opportunities to advance, not have um, just you, you just don't have any opportunities. No, I'm not saying at all. Give up 
no, keep doing what you, I guess, I guess even in the circumstances, this was a fluke. If everything I read is TMZ says is he just on a whim went down there and just happened to run into the guy. So I guess, but I guess just I mean, yeah, but keep so, security. I don't, I'm not saying a ban- I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying don't help. I mean, I guess just don't. I don't. I don't have a solution because yeah. he was clearly a well respected that your, your your store is there and, but, I guess more security. But I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There is no. And I and I I thought about that also. And because it's not sorry. No no. But go ahead. No, I'm saying yeah. It's not even how like the media will try to like gang related. I. When it came out, did you did you buy into the the Doctor uh, Sebi thing that the government did it? When have you heard? I looked into it, but then you know what? It, like so naturally, I'm just uh, I'm not a uh, I am fuck it. I'm opposed. Yeah, it to takes a lot for me. So I was like, I'm not really trying. So to hear this. I wasn't like completely brushing it off, but I was like, all right, like this is not. I I don't think that that's what it is. But if you prove to me that it is that, mm-hmm. then I'll listen to you. And that's uh, I don't want to talk about that, but that's another thing. I don't like the, the the judgmental people. Like, oh, if you don't if you don't accept this, then you're not woke. Like, yeah, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I've uh, even like people coming to me at work and we're talking about it, and he yeah, was like, I'm he like, had his store for three years, and then he got gunned down. It had to be the government. And I'm just like, uh, yeah, but I, I was uh, getting some attacks from you know, if you're skeptical about this, then you're not woke. And I'm just like, I never care when it, it's just like No, it's not about it's not about me caring. It's no, just no, it's just it's like a, why insult me? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm breaking down a lot. It's like so before all the facts come out, if I don't just accept what you yeah. said, were you on the scene of the crime? That's yeah, why yeah. I just like brush it all mental. It's like this yeah. don't make any sense to me. What do you know that I don't? <laughs> yeah. Especially now that the facts have come out and we see that That's right. You're never gonna get an apology. <laughs> but you know, some people are gonna just say, "Well, you know, he's working for the police because he was a known police informant." Da 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 da. That's true. So people that are gonna, true. gonna use that and spend that. I'm not saying that 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 that, that might not be the case. True. I don't know. You're but right. what I'm saying either. is that at the end of the day, whether that's the case or not, like that doesn't. This it's not it's not a, it's not a time for us to argue about it, like or to argue about what what caused this. So you know, I don't think that's that's. Well, you the saw it on Twitter. Huh? We saw it on Twitter. Where do you see these things? No, I've been personally attacked. Oh. Yeah. Today at work, I was talking. I mean, not today. Yesterday at work, I was talking. I'm like, my bad. <laughs> You're not woke. I'm not woke. Yeah, but no. I did see that. I also did see that on Twitter. But just talking to people also, and not even like rightfully dismissing them, just more so saying like, hey, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just be honest with you. I'm like. It's hard for me to believe in conspiracies. Mm-hmm. One, two. If the facts say that, then I will acknowledge that. But right now, I don't think that that's what it is. Ah, mm-hmm. I, I know. I I never took you to be one of those people, Jarrell. Oh, oh, that's what. The, I <laughs> tap on the shoulder. Yeah, I I ain't woke, but that's not. It's not about me. It's about Nipsey, man, and yeah, it's more, yeah, Back continuing to, to you know push his legacy and hopefully. You know, through his music and through his ventures, people can um, can you know somewhat learn his ways, but also further his ways. Like understand the importance of entrepreneurship and ownership, and you know, giving back to our communities and and just pushing for pushing forward, man. It's just it's, it's just it's extremely sad, man. It's it's yeah. it's extremely sad. Yeah, at this point, yeah, just actions. It's like when he got pronounced dead, it, I like still to this day, like I still have like a slither of doubt in me. I just shake my head every interview that comes up or every time I see somebody. It's just like, God, man, what we do to the best of us and why. Yeah. It's just that momentary like second of anger and whatnot or seconds of anger now. God knows his reach. He already changed thousands in the community. Yep. You know, who knows? Adding the music could be millions, but yeah. I feel like I feel horrible for like Lauren London though. Oh man, she got 
they have yeah, and to your point again, people he has, with the phones. He has two kids. Yeah, there are people with the record her breaking down the hospital. I'm reading. I didn't. I didn't watch that. I, yeah. I don't need to see that. That's I didn't see that problem. either. But I saw the link. He says, "Come on, people have no respect, no courtesy, nothing." No. Yeah, people don't have. I, 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 like, I, I can't even imagine someone going through that and me being like, yo, let me take my phone out and film that. But you know why people do that? Because of sites like TMZ. And I'm not blaming them, but they know that those videos no, can, can, can yeah. get paid. You can get paid Because it's selfish, yeah. It's just so selfish and inhumane. But I guess it's just the world we live in, sadly. Yeah. But to the point, though, yeah, to the family, to the eh, sincere condolences. Yeah. No one deserves this, Imagine. especially like that. Yeah, and they just did their their GQ shoot, they, uh, which was dope. <laughs> they had the, like the couples quiz. Mm-hmm. My girl made me watch that. <laughs> um, they just did all that, and it was just like, obviously they they were in love, you know. And it's just, I can't even imagine like you know the person that you sleep next to every night. Now that person is just gone. Like not on a gone, whim. yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah, not gone whim, by like, choice either. Like just like you left the house. I love you. See you tonight. Bow. No more. Yes, yeah, another th- just more and more. Like he was supposed to meet up with the uh, with the commissioner, the the LAPD mm-hmm. on Monday. And like even when they're like they're tweeting like they can they couldn't believe when they saw the name. And I'm seeing the commissioner talk about it. It's just again to the respect factor. Yeah. Like they're shocked. They respected him. I'm listening again today. I was listening like brilliant idiots. Charlamagne says Gary V hit him up in tears over. I'm just. Yo. It's just. I don't. The more and more. Go ahead, no, 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 no. When I saw that Gary V posted, like, and Gary V posted multiple, multiple times, yeah. I was like, yo, like him in the studio with Nip. Like, I was like. I didn't. Re- I mean, I realized Nip had somewhat of a reach. I didn't realize that he had touched that many people, of all levels. Yeah, and it's just because he was just like him, so himself. He was just so genuine. He was just so genuine, and people fucked with what he was saying. Like and they saw the they saw the action. Yeah, they saw the proof. It exactly. Wasn't- it wasn't like he just talking shit. You he literally signed a record deal with Epic in 2010. That didn't go well because they postponed his album. Said, "Fuck you guys! I'm gonna start my own label, all mm-hmm. money in, and just pushed it from that point." People notice that from 2010. That's damn it. That's almost a decade. Almost now. a decade. Yeah. People see that stuff. He was on the freshman cover with J. Cole mm-hmm. and Big Sean and all them. And great, yeah, they took their own route, but whatever. Like people still notice that. Like when you working like that. Yeah, and you grinding. Yeah. Yeah, you grinding from and, that. And everything that you say you gonna do, you, you did do. it. <laughs> Everybody and no Diddy producing your album. You and Picks with Jay. I yep. Mean, Rock Nation. Can, yeah, me, yeah. And I really feel like like what could have been, man. This so this album levels. Victory Lap was his, was his debut LP. And classic out the who, gate. Who, who knows? Who knows, who knows it, what could have came after this? You you talking about Drake and J Cole and of course the condolences were both like we were going to work. We both. Link with him recently Like we were gonna work this shit Like come on Like Yeah But I don't Rest in peace Yeah Rest in peace It shouldn't have been Seriously Prayers and like Condolences to him, him his family Sincerous. Lauren London Like all of them Cause this It's scary But it's just scary That's yeah, another It's frightening it's bro scary It's frightening Cause There's nothing you could do right. Like you just never know. This shit's frightening scary. too, man. This shit is frightening. You really never know when you step out that door. It was another thing I was thinking about. Yeah, this shit is scary. You never know, man. You never know who has what on them, who's doing what. And it, it made me think, like, not to like never I'm not trust me, I'm not making it about us. But like, you know how many strip malls in LA look like that? Yeah. Remember we went to that after the after party? Yeah. It just, just like, like that. that, yeah, yeah. It looked just like that strip mall, except it was dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like who knows what could have happened there? Like, we don't really know what neighborhood we were in. We just knew. Yeah, the people <laughs> we were talking to after. Who knew yeah, what they were about? Pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't want to like live life like you know in fear, but it just like just seeing it was like, oh my god! Like at any given moment, this shit could be over. 
Because he was in comfortable surroundings. Yeah, he was in his hood. It's like, her, like at home, like comfortable. You, <laughs> nah, it's not to be selfish, but you have to think when things happen like this. Because this is just out the natural order. They don't feel right. It's not. In broad daylight. In broad daylight. This isn't one like, I guess this was God's. It don't sound, it don't feel right at all. It feels like. You you ever seen um fuck what's that movie with Chris Rock where um Down to Earth you ever seen mm, that yeah. movie and you remember he got hit by the bus and Eugene Levy Le- 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 Levy or Levy is supposed to be like his angel yeah and he wasn't supposed to die for like thirty years later but Eugene Levy had like was looking at his watch and missed it or mm. whatever but he's supposed to be watching him it feels like that yeah it feels like an angel was like supposed to be watching Nipsey. And like we're supposed to protect him from this, but miss, but like you know, was just looking elsewhere or something and missed, and like I don't know, man. It's just it just it doesn't feel real. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's like caught me so off guard. Like wait, what? Nipsey got shot. What? 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 It doesn't. It really doesn't. <sighs> yeah, I don't. Nothing more I can really. Yeah. Just since rest in peace to like for real, man. Really, the best of us, like for a real. man of action. For immense real. respect <laughs> your music your actions, actions your lessons everything about you has like taught genuine so authentic. many people yeah you know so many things and i mean that 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 matters you know the legacy you leave especially at 33 years old mm-hmm. to like have garnered this much respect from people yeah like that that matters so i mean yeah, like they said. You, as, go ahead, sorry. sorry, I didn't mean to. Go no, ahead. you definitely left an impact on my life. That's all yeah. I wanted to say. No, yeah, they said his um his music sales spiked. I think like twenty eight hundred percent. Yeah, like he might end up selling more this week than he did his first week with a uh, victory lap. Good. That's good. Especially good. since he owns his uh, owns his all mask. them shits. Yeah, because yeah. you know his family's gonna need that money. So, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna keep listening. I was listening regardless, but yeah. if I now you know if I know that you know listening can also you know, give his family some money because mm-hmm. he owns his masters even better. Um, yeah, man, I don't really know. Yeah. Um, I thought it was dope, though, what Russ did yesterday. Yeah. Russell Westbrook. Mm-hmm. Um, with the 2020 20, yeah. One, that's extremely impressive. It's the only second time in history. <laughs> that's extremely, extremely impressive. Yeah. Like, Bro, when it's just you and Will, <laughs> you know something. Yeah, else. you different. This nigga doing roids, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that yo, I, I I was like, wait, what? I woke up this morning I was like twenty twenty and twenty one. Yeah, I was watching. I didn't really get what was happening because I when I first started watching it, one of the commentators mentioned like he needed twenty four more assists to average a triple double for the season. Yeah. And then I started watching the Kevin Hart special. But watch, listening, but watching the game. Yeah. So then he caught that last rebound. I saw the crowd, the the bench went crazy. So I thought like he completed triple double for the season or something. But then when he did the post game and he was just like, you know, I did the twenty. He said, "Well, he screams for nip," and he's like, "I got the twenty twenty twenty. Y'all know what that mean." I was like, oh, "Okay." I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I didn't. ain't know what that meant for at least two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I had to start yeah. look, I got on IG start looking at some stories yeah. and I started seeing some hashtags. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm old now. It was like 2020. I was like, Nip ain't got a third eye. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> had to start No, you know there's a picture of him circling with the third eye. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's the fuck uh, maybe I missed something. Yeah. Nah, rolling sixties, okay. Yeah. I understood. When he said it, I was like, oh, okay. Let me go Google that. <laughs> But that I think that, that 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 that's dope, you know, to see that LeBron working out yesterday mm-hmm. on on uh, on Instagram and like just going through his album, dedicating, mm-hmm. you know, the, just running through the album, victory lap, victory lap, and it's like I didn't even realize like his reach, like that I he was at the Texas Tech game for the for the uh, NCAA tournament, mm-hmm. and I'm like, who the hell you know at Texas <laughs> Tech? <laughs> <laughs> like so true. Like who? It's so true. Who you know at Texas Tech? Yeah. And like the kid, the guy goes and talks to me. He's like, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like that. That's the kind of reach he has because people 
Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I wish I got a chance to meet him because like, I would have loved to talk to him and just, like, talk business with him mm-hmm. and, you know, and just chop it up because people like that, just people just naturally gravitate towards mm-hmm. them because you bring in all that po- positive energy. You, you talking about business, how to make money. That's what people care about. Mm-hmm. How to how to set your family up, da, 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 how to do this, how to do that. And I, I personally, I get that just from listening to his music. You know that. I say that yeah. shit all the time. I'm like, yo... Listen to Nipsey. You know, you must be listening to Nipsey. I'm like, yo, we gotta fucking get the LLC. We got, we yeah. got, we gotta do this. Da da da. And like every time I listen to his music, that's how I feel. It's like, yo, all right, I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. You gotta keep doing more. Keep doing more. Um, but yeah, it's just dope to see that LeBron. You got the Drakes of the world. Um, you got even like random old heads. Like I was watching Skip and Shannon Undisputed. Yeah. And uh, Stephen Jackson. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. Diddy Nas, Diddy, Kevin yo, Hart. Yeah. I don't. It's Rihanna, Kevin Hart, Rihanna. That's that's the one that caught me off guard. Beyonce, I was, Beyonce. I was like, I was like, Riri, you know him. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I really feel like I would say these last two years, he was just like really blossoming. Yeah, as far as like a commercial artist, blossoming. yeah, all the seeds he had planted, they were just yeah, they was like boom, 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 yeah. boom. These last two years, he was, like, really blossoming. Because before, he was just... He wasn't an underground artist, but mm-hmm. he was an indie artist. Yeah. Like, I mean, you knew about him if someone mentioned him to you. Mm-hmm. But, like, you weren't... People just weren't, like... Unless you were in L.A., people weren't, like... There were some people in New York who didn't even know who Nipsey Hussle was. Mm-hmm. Who called themselves rap, rap heads. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was only, like, this year where, like, you started seeing, like, you know, his his... You know, videos on like Vivo and like all this Revolt TV and yeah. all this crazy stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was, it's comparison. Like, if MTV still showed music videos and they were still as prevalent as they were then, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be until like this year, you, or 2018, you started seeing his music videos on TV. Yeah. You know, but it's just like, all that just taken away from him. For nothing. For nothing. Yeah. Full circle for nothing. Yeah, prayers, prayers, and sincere condolences to the family. Yeah. Um, did you have anything else, Londo? Um, did but. No, nah, right. Not no. Yeah, we'll just leave it at this. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Um. Doesn't really feel right to. Word, man. R. P. Nip, man, for real. Personally, like you've touched me so many ways, man. Like. Your your message, your music, it, it motivates me and inspires me. It just it means so much to me more than I even realized it meant to me. For um, real, I, I I I I go to your music when I'm having a rough day at work or having a rough time at work. I go to your music when I wake up in the morning to get me energized to get ready to to just to just grind and do what I have to do. Um, yeah, man, they they. My day, he robbed robbed you of us for you nothing. Know, for, no, for nothing, so young. I, Go ahead. No, I've read people said that this is how they felt when um they were old enough when Biggie and Pac died. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. What was that? We like what four and six respectively. Yeah, I can only but now, imagine. It it does feel like yeah when I look back. Well, in the moment, and like to feel like, yeah, when I look back, it's gonna feel like that. Yeah, I can only imagine. And he was just getting started. Mm -hmm. (sighs) But yeah, um, RIP, condolences, prayers, sincerest to him, his family, Mm -hmm. his kids, man, anyone, all of his fans, anyone that's even slightly affected by this, man, this is terrible tragedy. Um, Yeah. Yeah, man. Keep so, them in your prayers. Be respectful. Facts. Be respectful. Stop with the videos. Take them shits down. Yeah, it's not the time. Um, it's never the time, really, but come on. It's not about you. It's not. It's about him and his family. Give them their privacy and their time. Mm-hmm. Um, go stream the music. Yeah, definitely go stream the music. All of it. You ain't even gotta, we ain't even got to beg you for it because <clears throat> it's good. Mm-hmm. Um, that too. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You, 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 you didn't know about Nipsey. Go listen to that. Put yourself in the right mood. You be Gucci. Um, yeah, man. I mean, as always, it's cooling out, man. Stay cool. 
You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out.